Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face using drugstore makeup that is available here in Australia at Priceline. I do have a few other videos like this, so I will link them down below if you want to watch. I try to use different products in each video as well, so you can see a variety of drugstore products being used on my fair skin tone. I'm really excited for you to see what I use today. I have some great affordable products here. For my eyes, I went in with the new Astralis Girl Boss Eyeshadow Palette. Oh, amazing. I love it. So if you want to see how I created this look, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned. Starting off with primer, I'm going in with this Rimmel Insta CC Color Corrector, and this is in the shade green. This is meant to neutralize your redness. Now, this one doesn't do an extremely good job. It kind of just slightly minimizes it. It's not my favorite, but I just wanted to show you how it performs in case it might work for you. So as you can see, it doesn't do that much in the way of color correcting the redness. It is only quite faint, especially when I'm used to using my L'Oreal Infallible. This does oh, an amazing job at counteracting that redness. To further cover up these spots before I go in with foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This one is in the shade Fair and it's the lightest shade available here in Australia. That being said though, it's not that light. I can't use it under my eyes to brighten. It's just for concealing blemishes and dark circles really. Okay, I wet my sponge. This is a new one from Eco Tools. Now, I really like the cut of it. As you can see, one side has a nice flat edge and this one is angled, so it fits nicely under your eyes. And then the bottom is the same as a beauty blender. Now it's a bit, it's dense. It's not as soft as a beauty blender or the flower beauty sponge I mentioned in my latest chatty video, but I still really like it, which is so weird. So I'm just going to blend out that concealer I put on my blemishes. For foundation, I'm going in with a new one. This is the NYX Can't Stop or Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, and I have the shade Porcelain. Now, there are quite a few fair shades in this range, which is so good to see. I will be doing a full review on this foundation, so I won't give too much away just yet. And then to brighten and conceal under my eyes, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 05 Ivory. And to set everything in place, I'm going in with one of my favorite loose powders. This is the Models Prefer Minishing no, it's not. This is the Models Prefer Mineral Finishing Veil. So I'm just going to use my sponge to apply this because I really like the way it kind of soaks into my skin. It leaves a really nice natural but kind of radiant finish. It's not a super matte powder, which I really love. Okay, for contouring, I finally got my hands on the Rimmel London, oh, I accidentally ripped off the back. I'm pretty sure, so this is an eyeshadow and I'm pretty sure it's in the shade all about the base. Yeah, I can't remember. 
And so this was suggested to me by Anna. She said it is a really great contouring shade. So I'm just going to lightly tap that in there, then tap off any excess because a light hand is best when it comes to these kind of products. Does anyone else do that and use their brush to tuck their hair behind their ear? <laughs> now that I've got hair that I can tuck behind my ear, it kind of gets in my way when I'm doing my bronzer and everything. So I'm always just like constantly tucking it with my brush. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to run along my jawline. That worked really, really well. I love it. So when I am contouring with powders, my favorite kind of brush to use is an angled brush. So something like this, or here's the Large Angled Contour by Sigma. Here's another one by Zoeva. This is the 127 Lux Cheek Sheer Brush. So yeah, these are my favorite, favorite? <laughs> favorite kinds of brushes for contouring because I find they sit really nicely in the hollows of your cheeks. For bronzer and blush today, I'm going to be going in with these Rimmel and Kate trios. If you've been on my channel for a long time, you would know I'm absolutely obsessed with the original. This one comes with a highlighter, a bronzer, and a blush, and these shades are all perfect for fair skin. So a while back now, they released a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighting palette. Now, these ones aren't as good for fair skin, but there are a few shades that I can get to work. So with this bronzing palette, too dark, quite warm. This is a bit cooler and it does have a bit of shimmer in it. So I might just take a mix of these two, just very lightly. They actually work quite nicely together. Mmm, not too bad. Okay, I'm actually really impressed with those bronzers. I thought they were going to be a lot warmer on the skin, but they look really nice. Okay, and then for the blush, again, we've got a really dark shade. This shade here is quite glittery, and then I think this uh, it's not a matte. I can see it has a little bit of a sheen. So I'm going to take a mix of these two again. That blush looks really nice too. The shimmer and the sheen that it has is quite golden, so I really, really like that. They're great little palettes. If you do want a highlighter, blush, and bronzer though, just go for the original because this baby won't let you down. For my highlighter today, I'm going in with the Balm Mary Luminizer. Now this is an oldie but a goldie and the Balm has just come to Priceline. So how exciting is that? This was my very first highlighter I ever purchased. I have broken it and repressed it. It's still as good as new. It's a very, very bold highlighter. So I'm going to be using a fan brush today. Mm. Stunning. Moving on to the brows, and I have the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Why can't I talk? Oh my god. The NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I picked up the shade Taupe. So this is just a really fine tip pencil. It winds up and it allows you to get really fine hair-like strokes. So I'm going to start off with the NYX Brow Mascara in Blonde and run this through my brows. I learnt this little trick at MAC and it just helps to tint all your brow hairs and set them in place so you just get a better idea of where you need to actually fill in your brows.
And then I'm just taking my brow gel again and quickly running through them to set them up into place. For the eyes, I'm really excited. I have the new Astralis Girl Boss palette here. As you can see, it's got a lot of neutral shades and then a few pops of color. I absolutely love the look of this. I am obsessed with the Neutralize palette. They have great formulas, great pigmentation, so I have high expectations for this palette as well. I really, really, really want to use this blue, so I think I might do some kind of neutral thing on the lid with this orangey shade and then I'll pop the blue on the lower lash line. Before we get into using this palette, I'll just show you some swatches so you can see all the shades. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as a base. I'm just going to take this shade here and apply that all over my lid and up through the crease. And then I'll take this shade here. Oh, they all have names. And I'm going to gently run this through my crease using my Sigma E45 brush. The other brush I used was the Sigma E38, by the way. All right, so I'm just going to tap this onto the outer corner. Okay, that shade packed on and blended out really well. These shadows feel really nice. They are not dry at all. Now I'm going to take this beautiful shimmery orange and I'm just going to use my finger to apply that. Oh yeah. That is pretty. I'm just going to pack that onto the center and then lightly blend it out into the corners. I did get quite a bit of fallout, so I'm just going to grab my powder brush and whisk that away. All right, under the eyes, I'm going in with the beautiful blue shade here. And I've just wet it with some of my model's prefer setting spray. That is so beautiful. I'm just going to pack that on a little bit more. And then with a clean brush, I'm just going to start to slightly blend that out. That blends really easily. I don't think I'm going to need another shade. I'm going to go back in with that dark brown shade we used just to kind of blend the outer corner together. Slightly bring it down. I'm actually going to take this eyeliner by Rimmel. It's the Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in the shade Deep Ocean. And I'm going to use this on my waterline. For mascara, I'll be using my L'Oreal Unlimited. This is the funky one with a bendy wand. To be honest, it's a little gimmicky and unnecessary, but the mascara is good. I'm just going to put on a generous coat of this mascara. I just haven't been feeling the fake lashes lately. I don't know, I'm just... But if you do want some really good fake lashes from Priceline, the Ardell range are really good. The Glamour Wispies are definitely some of my favorite. They're a little bit more dramatic, but still natural. And then this Lux range from Ilua. Oh, they are so pretty. They do have a thicker band, but they're quite lightweight. Like they don't feel super heavy on your eyes. So these are 
really good too. Oh my god, what am I saying? To highlight my brow bone in a corner, I'm going in with this shade here called Devoted. I never know if I'm reading them the right way, so who knows. All right, I'm going to finish the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, eyes are done. Here is a close up. That blue shade is so pretty. And the orange shade I used on the lid. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Now I'm pretty sure the Girl Boss palette is limited edition. So if you want to get your hands on it, go do that now because I'm not sure how long it's going to be around for. Onto the lips, I'm just going to go a nude shade because my eyes are so bold. So I'll be starting off with my Essence Lip Liner in the shade In The Nude. And then going in with my L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the shade 657 Steal The Shine. Alright guys, well this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching me play with some drugstore makeup today. Make sure you leave me a comment below letting me know what your favourite drugstore item is at the moment. If you aren't already, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!